Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help resolve the Windows installation error message 0x8007001 that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu. Type in disk cleanup, best match. You'll come back with disk cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. Want to make sure temporary internet files is checkmarked in here. And then select OK. Select the delete files. And give that a moment. Depending on how many files are in here, it might take longer or slower, obviously. So just give that a moment. And then once that's done, go back into disk cleanup. So go ahead and open that up one more time. This time we're going to select cleanup system files. And make sure that Windows Update Cleanup is checkmarked in here, and then select OK, and then select Delete Files. And this may take a couple minutes to run, especially if you don't do this very frequently. You saw that there were about 4 gigabytes worth of hard drive space that was being taken up by old or Windows updates that are no longer necessary because they've been superseded by new updates that replace the need for the old one. So just give this a moment here. So once that's done, open up the search menu and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, or come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a back above it. So if anything would go wrong, you could easily restore it back in order to create a back if it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is done, we are ready to begin. And we're gonna start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. So double click on that. Should be a policies folder in here, double click on it. Microsoft, double click on that one as well. Locate the Windows folder, double click on the Windows folder, and there should be a Windows Update folder in here, just left click on that one time. And then on the right side, there should be a value that says WI Status Server. Go ahead and right click on that, and then select Delete. It's gonna ask, are you sure you wanna permanently delete this value? Select Yes. And there's a WU Server D word value in here, you wanna delete that one as well. You can tap the delete key on your keyboard. You don't have to necessarily right click and delete. Once that is done, go ahead and close out of the registry editor and you want to restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process for you. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.